So, so how long does it take? Okay, normally if you change over parts, it might take two days to change a part over from one, to, one type to a different type. How long does it take to go from one part to another on this machine? One part to another on this machine, I could get a part set up in 10 minutes with a chip light. 10 minutes? Yeah. Oh my God, which is, which is that's one of the main barriers to automation is low batch numbers, you've got to change over all the time. It takes way too long, it's not cost effective. Yeah. I like these parts, we're going to talk about these in a little, little bit, but first of all, there's a little camera in there. I've never seen a, a machine tending system with computer vision. Now, what does that mean you can do? That camera looks at the components on the, on the belt, um, so we can set up the robot to pick up the component really easy. So it's rather than having a positive location system, which is like a grid plate or a piece of special work holding, which is expensive, you've got to change for different part types, you just bung them on what is a conveyor belt over here. This camera picks them up and tells the robot exactly where they are. Pretty much so, yeah. Just as you described, yep. And then so the robot can pick them up and then after that, once it's grabbed them, the rest of the time you've got positive location in the grippers and the work holding. But let's talk about the grippers next. So the grippers on this video, how do they work? So really basic. They're on this racking system, tightened by a uh, bolt. Just undo that, place it up and down, depending on your spacing that's required for your billet that you're picking up. Normally it's about six mil you need to pick up. And these have got a little V-block in, they've got some, some uh, gripping teeth. So they look like they'd be useful for, for round parts and for, for square parts, but surely these gripping teeth, don't they uh, mark a part after it's been finished? Yeah, they will mark a part after it's been finished. So basically we're just doing optens at the moment on here. Just like this, we've got an OP10 here. Yep, uh, so we're gripping from the base of the billet, um, which is just about here. Uh, so we're not damaging the part. So it's being, being loaded on the stock, and then it's being picked up again on the stock. So there's no damage to the component. Brilliant, so the, the OP10, this is perfect for square parts that have features on, on five sides for this five axis machine? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, we can do though complete parts with snap-offs. So, oh, right, cool. yeah. yeah. So you get a tab and you just you pull the part. You just pull the parts off, yeah. So that is another option to go. Depends on how much material we got wastage um, and the costs. Okay. So I've never seen a computer vision system uh, used to pick up parts. I guess it's quite a new technology. What parts does it uh, apply itself to well, and what kind of parts does it not? Um, picking up general billets, no problem. Square, rectangle. We have that round, round, yeah, as well. We have had issues though with extrusions, um, so we've had to... A bit like you, your part here. Yeah, this, this part here was made from an extrusion, um, machined five faces, but the problem we did have... So, was... Sorry, by an extrusion, we mean, I guess some people, I mean, I only learned about this a, a, a few months ago. The extrusion is the form here, yeah, is the raw billet is the way yeah. it comes out like that. The raw billet, it's got this uh, bore through it as well. Um, got two mil either side for machining purposes. Um, but yeah, we had a problem picking this up um, on the chip light. So we used the Thedio system, which is manually programmed the robot to pick up. So it was able to pick up the part from the top on the, on the uh, billet surface and then pick up then on the bottom on the uh, unmachined surface for offloading. Because you, you could obviously, you could change these tips, uh, you could change these ends um, to have nice flat flat ends to pick up finished parts, but so you don't have to change the, the tip, the, the gripper ends, you can uh, program it to grab on uh, the rough billet here and then the rough billet down here after the fact. Yeah, that's correct. Um, the problem we had though was the shadowing caused by the extrusion with the, the camera system. So to work around that, we manually programmed the robot to pick up from here and then from the bottom. But so, so I guess, did you need some uh, support from White House machine yeah. tools to, yeah, to program did, the robot? We did. Um, they supplied one of their engineers for a couple of days. He came up um, to work for all the problems and come up with a solution that worked for the company um, to get this product on the shop floor. Brilliant. Problem solving from White House machine tools and support. And also, really easy to program a chip light automation system as well. That's correct, yeah. Really easy to work. Um, you can have a job up and running on the chip light software in 10 minutes. Brilliant, 10 minutes to set up, maybe a little bit longer if you've got to program the robot, but if you've got square parts, absolutely perfect.